Talk about the first tank that you ever fell in love with. Well, actually, who wants to go first on that one? First tank you ever fell in love with. Okay, new guy goes first. First tank that you ever fell in love with. I, was, I joined Wargaming probably a week before they introduced the Panzer 1C. So oh, I kind of just stumbled upon that tank, just grinding dog. up the German mm-hmm. uh, light tank line. And so just to take it out, so it's so fast, it's maneuverable, it's got a, an auto loader with a Mauser if you mm-hmm. use the Top Gun. So I, mean, I had a blast playing that tank, and it was great until I stumbled upon KV-1s. Mm-hmm. And then... Somewhere useless. out in the universe, Paul is now so happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Barnett is ecstatic. But like that was my first experience with World of Tanks, just playing this up-tempo, f- you know, f- run-gun style, and uh, I like it. I like it ever since. All right, who, who else? Who wants to talk about a tank they fell in love with? I the first tank. Next, my first tank I absolutely fell in love with was the pre-patch 9.4 Hellcat. After 9.4, <laughs> that thing was nerfed into the ground. Turning <laughs> radius destroyed, engine destroyed, shot dispersion destroyed. But wow. before that, that tank dominated tier 6. It was a thing of beauty. You get in, you see an enemy, you pop uh, in I half of their hit points. <laughs> gone. Just gone. And then you disappear into the black of the night like a true Hellcat player. And then 9.4, now you're this... Poor, <laughs> sad little vehicle trudging along, hoping you can turn in time to save yourself. You never turn in time to save yourself. Rubbing it and then in. You just, you, then you just get hit hard. One third, two thirds, seventy-five percent of your hit points gone. You're still turning to save yourself. Don't worry. And by the time you lock onto the tank, maybe it thinks about firing, and then and then it lets go. But before <laughs> that, I, I'm telling you before. All, that, and and was, all I can amazing. think about, all I can think about, so is Hellcat. the comments of Hellcat. the players Hellcat. saying, Hellcat. "We we don't get that anymore. No. Where did that go? No, it was that that a boy pigeon. Yeah, all right, let's go to ha- okay. Let, 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 you, we got it. We got it. Yeah, no, see, see, we're good. Let's talk okay. to the let's talk to the Cavs. I mean, let's talk uh, to Meathead. The Cavs. Because th- because your comments showed last week that you love Meathead's Cavs, so we brought him back. So talk about <laughs> the first tank you ever fell in love uh, with. It would be the M4 Sherman with the derp. Um, <laughs> it lobs, which is great. My first love experience with it was when I actually shot it over the hill of something that you wouldn't necessarily be able to see. Yep and it hit a target and the person was not happy whatsoever. Uh, like and Steph it's also Curry, baby. <laughs> right over the hill. Were you lobbing AP at this point still? Or oh no, H-E. H-E all the oh, way. Oh, H-E all the way. And, uh, and it's just my feel good tank too. Like if I'm having a bad day or I can't get a win, I go out in that bad boy and mm. I just get wins. <laughs> yes. yes. boy. all right, so you cheat, got it. I don't, yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's turn it around. All right, whatever. Tank you despise. Everybody's got one, right? We love tanks, but we also, there's one that I hate. despise this tank, but it's got to be the M3 Lee. Oh, come on. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't know how to play tank destroyers when I stumbled upon it. So all of a sudden, I don't have a turret. Like, I can't traverse. Like, I don't get this. Why is this happening to me? It wasn't until another, what, 100 or 200 battles that I finally realized what a tank destroyer was and how the Lee should be played. But by then, it was too late. I had moved on to the Sherman and uh, never looked back. But but you had a reaction. So I go did, ahead and go ahead and a rebuff. Lot, I, mean, a lot of I, I allow a good rebuff. A lot of players out rebuff. here in the comments rebuff. are going to be like, "The M3 Lee is the most terrible tank of all time. Like the the medium should never be in the game. Remove it. It's made me stop the playing up that line." But you're right. It is a TD by all regards. It also has, I think, a tier six style gun on it. It does. Yeah, so I mean, it hits mm. extremely six hard. Five. And the moment you learn how to play the M3 Lee, you can be a beast in it. Uh, so I agree, like, origi- like pl- first time playing through, like, never playing anything before, if that's your first line, yeah, the M3 Lee is definitely a smack in the face. But go back and play it after a few hundred, 500,000 battles, and you'll be fine. 500,000, only 500,000. No, right. 500 or 8,000. Five, oh, I got it. Yeah, that's okay, how many right. battles. Okay. Yeah, well, you know what? It. It's, we, we agree to disagree. That's a good one. Okay, who else wants to talk about the tank? Oh, let's just go down the line. You seem to love to talk. Type 95, <laughs> Japanese heavy tank. That is the most... Bar none, probably the most worthless tank in the game. And I am—I will personally apologize to all of you for that tank because every time it sees an M4, it just gets one shot, and this heavy tank just explodes. It's a bad tank. It's not a heavy tank. It's a heavy tank in name only. All right. That's it. I got nothing good to say about this tank. Go like, ahead. Good. That's Go. what we wanted. You. Uh, I don't tank. Actually, you despise. I, I don't actually have one tank I despise. I have a lot of tanks. I well, despise. you have to pick one. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the rules. I hate anything that starts with VK. Uh, okay. I hate anything that I hate okay. anything that starts with AT. I also I hate, I hate I also hate yeah. 
I also hate anything that starts with E unless I'm playing it, like the E100. I like playing it. The E25? E e e e that's the E25. It's an amazingly OP tank that I absolutely despise. Okay. All right. Playing against, I'm so, sure. Oh, oh, playing as? No, I don't play it. All right, now let's. We're gonna do one la one last question. We gotta wrap this up, but we're gonna go back. You gotta be brief on this one. But if you had one thing, you go back to the beginning of your World of Tanks experience. You have one thing you can tell that brand new player that he should be doing, he or she should be doing as they go forward. Got to be brief. What is it? Crew training. Crew training. Just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. Train I guess we should follow up. And why? Take them with you. The higher the tier you go. Pretty much. That works. I like uh, that. That works pretty well. Cool. You. Don't jump too many tank lines. Stick with one line. Pick a line and go? Pick a line and go. All right, not bad. You? Uh, map awareness. It's there for a reason. Uh, keep an eye on it. And there's reasons why you get flanked and reasons why tanks show up behind you. It's because you're not looking at it. Mm, that's my problem. Yeah. All right. Listen, thank you very much. That's Tank Tuesday. We'll be back next week. Of course, we love your comments. We want to hear more about, uh, you know, whatever you have, calves, uh, you know, <laughs> not, not the Cavaliers, but his calves. Uh, and uh, you know, they're on vacation right now. Whatever you, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Going soon. I, I was actually curious why they pointed out your calves. I didn't. I wasn't that impressed, to be honest. But that's just me. So oh, we're oh. back next week. Uh, put put some comments on what you'd like to hear from us. Uh, talk about it next week. Thank you. Please subscribe. Terrible ending. Terrible. Love you. <laughs>